Yeah, so my name is Michael Hornby. I'm a senior at Burn Burton, and I've taken woodworking all four years. Uh, it's been my one of my favorite classes, if not my favorite class. And my freshman year, um, me and some of my friends, we said our senior year we're going to make a car. We didn't quite make a car, but that's where the uh, inspiration for this project came from. Uh, I'm Carson Gordon. I'm a senior as well. I've taken uh, two classes uh, of woodworking at Burn Burton, and yeah, I guess this our inspiration was we wanted to make something that had an engine and four wheels, but it didn't matter how it came out. So yeah, my, while I was doing this class, actually, my A block was an internship at a, at a local garage, and I was kind of learning how to work on cars and that sort of thing. So um, once we got the engine for this, it actually came off of a lawnmower. And I spent most of my time changing the lawnmower engine from running vertically to running horizontally. And that just involved, you know, taking it all apart, taking everything out of it, drilling new holes for the oil, uh, stuff like that, making this engine mount here. Uh, we had another partner in our group, and he did a lot of the wood framing. Uh, he worked with his dad in construction and contracting over the summer. Uh, and he got pretty good at that. He did our plywood for the top and then uh, did our wood framing with half lap joints. Um, and then I did a lot of sourcing of parts. Luckily my uncle had a broken lawnmower that didn't have the components that he would need to cut a lawn. So we, uh, he was, you know, I'm thankful that he gave that to me and I could use the steering and the wheels off from around it. You want to talk about the brake? Yeah, uh, I made, uh, I had quite a saga with the braking system. We had a brake that came with the rear axle and uh, that one did not end up working in the way that we intended. The piston would not fire. Uh, it used a hydraulic system as well. Um, and we ended up using a Shimano bike brake because our teacher is also a mountain biking coach. Uh, luckily, he had a couple spare parts laying around. So a lot of this has spare parts from him as well. You know, so I guess the overall kind of flow of it was we made a plan in about, I'd say, probably two days. <laughs> and we thought the plan was very, very thorough. You know, it involved, we designed it so there was enough wiggle room to kind of put the seat wherever we wanted. It's adjustable. I don't know if you can show the yeah, adjustable can... seat. Our other partner who's not here, he's quite tall, and so we needed to fit the adjustable seat in. We also added a bunch of flexibility for um, whatever size engine we use, because we weren't sure if this engine was going to make it, and we're really happy that it did, because it's the the pre-bought engines we were looking at were about seven horsepower, but this one has 21 horsepower, which is um, we're pretty happy with that. So yeah, we got the wood all together probably. What do you would you say? The first like two, three days. Two, yeah, two or three days, probably a week. Um, and then really it was just a lot of small things making everything work together, which took up the, the rest of the time. Um, we used a lot of uh, computer programming and software uh, for the CNC router machine. Uh, I made um, the steering wheel right here, and then he used a handheld router to soften out the edges. And then with the lawnmower, there was a steering hub that would lock the steering wheel onto the steering shaft here. But it had, I had to CNC a, an inverse kind of hub attachment that would fill up the space so that the steering wheel would be sturdy on there. Yeah, we had um, the project, the project really did come down to the wire. It kind of felt like a reality TV show, you know. Um, <laughs> literally the two days before we had our final woodworking class, or sorry, the day before, I stayed at school from uh, 12 to 5 o'clock working on getting the... Um, the throttle hooked up here because initially we didn't have any way to connect the throttle from the carburetor here to our feet. We were thinking we we're going to have to drive with one hand, press the brake with the other, and with our third hand, <laughs> adjust the throttle behind our backs. But, um, I, a, a thankfully, choke. Mr. Mowry stayed late um, and he helped me get this set up. I went out and bought a choke cable and then we rigged it up to this all the way up through here. We welded this threaded rod in and then put a spring behind this block and now it's got a, a functional foot pedal, which is really good and that's what we were we were really hoping to be able to do. So, But yeah, it did come down to the very, very last minute. So, a lot of fun.